The New York Jets are truly looking incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's video, I'm going to break down the New York Jets offseason and talk about how to they got to the spot that they're currently at. Because honestly, right now, they're looking like Super Bowl contenders. And for the first time in a long time, it looks like they are going to make the playoffs. But before we get into it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. We are nearing 1,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer day by day. And let's get into it. The New York Jets looked really good last season at one point. They were 6-3 and three, and they were looking really, really nice and looked like it was about to make the playoffs for the first time in a very long time and then stuff just started going downhill very quickly week 10 they play at new england and they go ahead and lose 10 to 3 and they lose in a heartbreaking fashion towards the end of the game the patriots get a punt return to go ahead and win the game that would be the only touchdown scored that game and zach wilson played absolutely horrible zach was 9 for 22 he had 77 passing yards he took four sacks he had a qbr of 19 and his passer rating was 50 these are some of the worst stats i've ever seen a quarterback play in my life these stats were horrid and then after that we have the iconic interview where of course he took no accountability for anything and he knows i swear this man knew he played a horrible game and he still did not take any accountability for it as an offense though i mean when you guys are only able to score three points the defense only lets up three points i mean do you do you feel like you let the defense down at all? No. No. And after that, stuff just started all going wrong for the New York Jets. After that, Zach Wilson would go ahead and get benched. And I mean, after that play and after what he said, I'd bench him too if I were Mr. Robert or the head coach of the New York Jets. And after that, stuff just didn't go right with the New York Jets. And they would go ahead and pretty much lose out the whole rest of the season besides one game versus the Chicago Bears. And they would end the season with a 7-10 and record. And they would go ahead and miss the playoffs. Things were not looking good. And then the offseason came around. This is where things in New York started to change. They would fire their old offensive coordinator and go ahead and hire Nathaniel Hackett as offensive coordinator at the time this looked crazy because we all just saw what Nathaniel Hackett did in Denver when he was the head coach it was horrible and he was not a good head coach there he got fired before the season even ended so this is where some potential rumors came about is Aaron Rodgers going to get traded to the Jets because a whole bunch of rumors just started coming out because Hackett and Rodgers was actually partners back in Green Bay that was his offensive coordinator in those MVP seasons that Rodgers had back in Green Bay so there's a lot of questions coming out a lot of rumors on march 14th the jets also signed wide receiver alan lazard to a four-year contract and that was one of receivers that rogers had back in green bay and after a whole month of march and aaron Rodgers announcing that he wants to get traded to the jets on the pack mcafee show a whole bunch of stuff happened the packers and the jets finally get a deal done the jets go ahead and end up getting aaron Rodgers, the 15 pick in that draft of 2023 and the 170 pick overall in that draft and the packers end up getting the 13 pick the 42 overall pick pick the 207th overall pick and a conditional second round pick if Rodgers plays 65% of his snaps and that brings us to here today what do the Jets currently look like and do they actually look like Super Bowl contenders and could they actually go ahead and win the Super Bowl so now it's time to do the crumble takes breaking down the Jets roster and see what I think about it because honestly I looked at this roster I was like all right Jets you guys got yourself a little bit of a squad currently of course that quarterback like I've been mentioning earlier they got Aaron Rodgers one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it a four-time MVP at quarterback I know he's kind of old now but listen I think that Rodgers I know he had a down year last year but honestly in this Jets offense that I'm about to break down I think he's gonna do fine he's back with his OC Nathaniel Hackett that he won two MVPs with I think Rodgers is gonna do just fine and he could potentially be putting up some great numbers and 4,000 yard seasons we saw from Rodgers I think we could be seeing that again this year for the first time in a long time the Jets are finally set at quarterback at running back they have Brees Hall now I know this man is on the pup list currently but it sounds like this man might be able to start week one last year before he tore his acl he had 80 carries for 463 yards four touchdowns and he averaged five yards a carry this man was on fire and he was absolutely balling from the new york jets he looked like the rookie of the year of course before he sadly tore his acl i think this man could potentially be a player that comes back and he comes back at his peak after an ACL tear. It isn't likely that right away he comes out and beats the same Brees Hall that he was his rookie year, but it is technically possible for him. And if he does struggle, the Jets have other running backs such as Zonovan McKnight, Michael Carter, and they also have a guy that they drafted in the fifth round called Israel. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I'm definitely going to say it wrong, but they have some great backs in New York and they have, and I think next year they're going to have a great run game. The New York Jets also have a great wide receiver room. Of course, they have Garrett Wilson, that rookie that showed out last year, and he's finally getting a great and amazing 
decent quarterback to work with. People are saying that, well, Aaron Rodgers came out and said he's a little bit like Devontae Adams. I think this connection between Rodgers and Wilson next year is going to be great. And I honestly think Wilson has a super high ceiling going into next year. I think he has potential, might be able to finish top 10 or maybe even top five in receiving yards next year. And of course, like I said earlier, they signed Alan Lazard, Rod, one of Rodgers' guys back in Green Bay. They also got McCole Hardman, another nice guy. They got Randall Cobb, Corey Davis still. They have a nice wide receiver core in New York. I actually really like this wide receiver core, and I think it's actually going to do great. I really like that Garrett Wilson guy. I really, really like him. Alan Lazard, I really like him. And if McCole Hardman can stay healthy, he can be a nice gadget. At tight end, of course, they got Tyler Conklin. We saw he flashes from him last year, but of course, Zach Wilson doesn't really help when he's your quarterback. And they also got CJ Uzama. We've also seen some flashes from him at times. The Jets offense is truly looking good on paper, but the Jets defense, oh my gosh, this thing is looking stacked. In my opinion, the Jets have the best secondary in the NFL. They have some great guys. Of course, they got Sauce Gardner, the rookie of the year for the defensive side of the ball last year. This man was all around great. And they also have DJ Reed, another great corner to help with Sauce. Those guys are super great and amazing. You also got Adrian Amos currently at free safety and Jordan Whitehead at safety. This secondary is looking stacked right now and it's looking amazing. If all these guys stay healthy, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of teams that can throw on this team because this defense and this secondary, in my opinion, it's the best in the NFL and they definitely have the best cornerback duo in the NFL. I mean, is there really a debate for this? The Jets cornerback and secondary is truly amazing. The Jets also have some nice defensive pieces and some nice linebackers. Of course, we know Quinton Williams are all around beast. They also got Quinton Jefferson. Two Quintons are a great duo on this Jets team. Solomon Thomas, they got Carl Lawson, CJ Mosley, and Quincy Williams. This defense is actually looking pretty good right now. Of course, they drafted Will McDonald this year. This defense is honestly looking pretty solid right now, and I really like the way that this defense is going. And of course, the head coach, Mr. Robert, used to be the defensive coordinator in San Francisco when that defense was killing it and it's still killing it. When this man is a head coach and he coaches the defense, this man can do stuff to a defense that no one has seen before. He is an amazing, amazing part to have on that defense even though he's not even on the field. He's a great defensive coordinator and he knows what he's doing. I really love what he's doing in New York. This Jets team, honestly, in my opinion, after breaking down this whole team, they're contenders, okay? Like, just look at them. They got a Hall of Fame quarterback. They got a great defense. They got great weapons. They know what they're doing and they got a great head coach. I see this Jets team as as contenders. Honestly, it's giving me 2020 Buccaneers vibes. We all know when Tom Brady left and they just instantly became a Super Bowl team. They built a team that was great around Tom. Super Bowl team won the Super Bowl. It's giving me vibes like that and I don't want to pick them to win the Super Bowl. Something's just telling me they are going to win the Super Bowl. We all saw Brady did it. Stafford moved teams immediately and won the Super Bowl. Honestly, this team is contenders and honestly, Jet fans, I hope you guys are excited for this season because honestly, I think it's going to be a good season for y'all. I'm happy to see what y'all put on. I think y'all are going to put on a show. Make sure you draft Aaron Rodgers, Garrett Wilson in your fantasy leagues. I think they're going to be great. New York Jet fans, y'all should be happy. I'm going to say it again. You guys have something great brewing in New York. I think you guys are contenders and potentially get to the Super Bowl this year. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. It really would be appreciated. Also, watch these two videos right here. One on the Miami Dolphins. I think the Dolphins could potentially be a little dark horse team. And this video right here, I think they're great videos by me. Hope all of y'all can go have a nice day and I will see you guys in the next video.